Hello everyone, Namaste. Salutations to every one of you, whomever is in regards to watching this video in particular. In this video, I ultimately wanted to create a video discussing of how the general terminology of Weibo, I believe, is misconceived. It is not only misconceived, it is also, I believe, to being a derogatory statement, being that it degrades someone else's culture for his or her decision to celebrate someone else's heritage and culture and to celebrate the individualism of their expression through art, through uh, a positive channeling through such perspectives of upholding an innovation that is derived from the origins of another country or someone else's imagination to which it's now the primal purpose of it is channeled for something positive and it's, there's nothing negative about someone who celebrates my culture, my ancestry, my heritage, and you know, I myself born and raised in Tokyo, Japan, and representing that philosophy and the idealism of promoting individuality and self-conscious awareness. There should never be any reason in the entire universe for anyone to obviously uh, degrade somebody else or through the act of bullying someone else be just because of their interests or of how different an individual truly is. And regardless of what anybody else tells you in life, you always have to remain as your own individual, as your own human being, as your own person, and celebrate the independence of your your own free will and of, of your own interest in whatever that you should decide to celebrate in, in life. Uh, I myself have actually spent the majority of my life of society whom regulate that mandate in particular to judge me for who I am and still to this very day uh, ever since my childhood I've never had successful relationships I never had friendships I never had any luck or th that specific charm towards quote unquote celebrated and being accepted or liked and somehow you know I've always tried to find that balance that meditation that karma that that certain balance to find like-minded individuals to finding those whom I could find a common similarity with and of how to have a successful relationship and uh, that con connection with others. And I never believe in coincidence. I always believe in synchronicity. Like everything happens for a purpose and for a reason. And, you know, for not getting off too much off topic, a celebration of one's culture is not something to degrade, it's not something to belittle or judge or, you know, to think it's freaky or out of place or out of the normality or what have you. It, it, it's something that's, that should be respected. You may or may not accept it, however, you should at least be tolerant towards others' beliefs, and celebrate the equality and diversity, and that diversity is 
well, it's that particular diversity is not always celebrated or accepted or tolerated by everyone. However, uh, understanding human nature, the world in itself, you have to understand, is becoming more and more open-minded. And I, you know, only one time in my entire life, I used to drive this, like, 1999 Dodge Durango eight-cylinder car. And one side of it had, like, Hatsune Miku and decal all over it, and the other side had this Tokyo Ghoul, like, Kenneke. And I had this, like, one person in particular, he just rolled down a window, and he yelled at me, he said, like, you, you're a weeboo, and... I was like, what? Originally, I'm born and raised. I have Japanese ancestry and bloodline and genetics coursing through my blood, my veins. And I was like, I thought to myself, like, oh, it was like really strange and odd, you know. You know, and that person quickly just silenced, you know. So one of the most important things you have to keep in consideration in your mind is how to find out liberation and freedom. Moving yourself away from the enslavement and the shackles of others' perceptions over you. And as long as you hold yourself in the vices of the grip of, you know, like the secret, the power of positive or negative thinking, the law of attraction, for as long as you constantly gnawing in the consciousness of your of your mind towards something negative and your mind is going to allow the universe and the surrounding of your life from present to future and past to govern who you are of who you are supposed to be or become through such people, uh, negative energy or positive energy or a balance would actually contribute itself and pull itself towards you naturally through natural attraction. And just take it from my example, from my ex personal experience, honest to God, I, throughout my entire life, have been persecuted and judged by others. I've been mislabeled and misconceived. I've been just living an entire human existence of 27 years, almost 28, in isolation and of... Often at times blatant disrespect or often at times just the radicalized ignorance of the human mind and judgment towards me. And its affliction is, it seems never ending. And that's human nature. You constantly have to strive in, in your existence towards a light or at least to find a balance. As myself, I'm neither a wander, gravitate towards light or darkness. I'm an element of in between, an element of this perfect balance. And the one thing that you have to understand and realize is that human nature has a tendency, as always, and it will always judge one another. They understand so very little of you. And they have absolutely no desire to getting to know who you are beneath the flesh and the bones of your human body for who and what you are. They'll never find out the coloration of your soul. They'll never f have this ambition, this willingness to open their third eye and their consciousness to go forth in life and to breathe positive changes a natural progression towards a future every day of their life. And it doesn't matter. 
It could be your coworkers. It could be your family members. It could be friends of yours. Whether if you've known them for a long time or even if you've known them for such a short time. And they'll still find ways to judge you for who you are. So my greatest advice that I could provide to everyone is simply just to be yourself. Embrace the, the art in your individualism. And never pretend to be something or someone that you're not. It's just like myself, you know, like being behind the lens of a camera, I will always be who I was meant to become and who I was meant to be and who I will have become will replace the person who I once were, which is today, which is from yesterday or in the past. And each day sheds itself like the skin of a cocoon. And cultures is one of the most important things that one could ever do to, to celebrate. I've always been passionate about studying different cultures myself. And through that, you provide to the world your blessing of expanding the horizon of your knowledge, of expanding, you know, it, it shows your willingness, essentially, of how to better yourself as a human being. And in that same perspective, to influence in a positive perspective of the world around you, of others around you. And through expanding your knowledge, you are ultimately wanting to explore and navigate through your similarities and differences as a collectivism as a humanity together or even within the boundaries of your own soul in your collective and by doing that you're showing that you appreciate the aesthetics of values and your, your philosophy and your integrity you pride yourself in the integrity of helping others to practice that same diversity in the same sense that you are able to truly open the minds of others and yourself in that process wow. and it's, hey I see you you cute kitty and you have to truly find some sort of equilibrium some sort of peace and s solidarity uh, clarity in the world you have to find that light and once you find it it's just like finding uh, discovering genuine people you have to do whatever you could in life and whatever possible to hold them in your life for as long as possible and I appreciate anime I don't you know I, I appreciate I was born and raised with like ramen and pucky and High chew snacks, you know. I used to. Uh, my first anime I ever watched was like Gundam. I have distinct memories. I have. Being in Japan, born and raised, you know. I appreciate anime for what it is. Once again, it's. It's considered as art, and art itself, it brings balance and sanity to the world it brings creation a creation out of chaos and often at times or another you find within darkness or chaos balance you find light and as far as I'm concerned a lot of American cartoons they don't teach you as much values or allow you to have the capability of free thinking or a, a psychological thought process that go that courses through your mind much like how anime would and how it promotes it, especially my number one favorite anime of all time it's a psychological thriller and it provokes and promotes your 
consciousness awakening so much it opens your third eye it helps you to evaluate human existence and the after and the and the life thereof after it's called death parade if you ever get a chance check it out i don't want to make this video too long i just wanted to conclude this video by saying stand firm be proud for who you are even if you are a weeboo you know i i thank you everyone in the world for being a weeboo of uh, celebrating cultures of the world and through this we're able to pr truly promote diversity and unity in the world thank you everyone always for watching my videos and thank you for your support and your continuation of your faith in us and so Be proud to take such an investment of your pride, of your your faith, your enjoyment, your celebration, your every fiber being, and your spiritual fire, of your soul consciousness of uprooting and celebrating a culture as such as, as mine. Because that's all we got left in the world. One of the very few things that have sanity or sense or clarity and certain light in the world. I, I could not even imagine a universe or a world itself without anime. That would just be hard. <laughs> I would absolutely hate that with a passion. Thank you.